Hey, Crazy Boy here. Today we're going to be talking about 3D printing in wood. We're going to check it out today, so stay tuned. Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna be talking about wood. Filament, that is. This is a spool of pre-line filament. They didn't sponsor me. This was just a filament I've been looking at. You know, I wanted to 3D print in wood, and I thought it would be really cool, and I found that they had a sale going on, and it was only $22, I think this cost me. The wood filaments go up quite a bit, and basically it's a PLA, and if I had to guess, it's a PLA with wood dust mixed into the actual plastic, and this is just me guessing. I'd probably say it's probably about 80% plastic and 30% wood dust if I had to guess. I actually did take a look at this stuff under a microscope. I'm going to show you the video I took of the microscope and as you can see here you can see that there's wood particles actually in this filament. It looks pretty cool and then here's another view of what it looks like stained. You can actually stain this stuff. The wood particles actually did stain pretty good on this and I'll show you more of that throughout the video. Let's talk about what I printed this on. I printed this on an Ender 3 pretty much stock except for the glass bed. The temperature on the bed was 60, and I found my working temperature, which I'll show you the temperature how where I came up with this temperature. And I suggest if you haven't seen that, you can take a look at my video here. It tells you how to test temperature on PLAs. The temperature that worked for me was 220 on this stuff. What I've noticed in the past, if it's anything that has a particle fragment in it, you want it at a higher temperature, so that way the plastic will ooze out with it, otherwise you get clogging. And I'll show you some of the issues I had when we get over to the table and take a look at some of the 3D prints I did. Without further ado, let's go over to the table and take a look at this filament and see what you can print with this. All right, so we'll start out with the temperature tower. It looks like this likes the higher temperature, so I kind of started off with the 215 and then I jumped up to 220 because that was the sweet spot. And the reason why I came up with 220 was when I tried to do this Mega Man type of character, I noticed I was having an issue with striping, as you could see there, where it looks like it's it's not quite extruding properly so I was having problems with that you could see it there and you could see it there on his arm too and it was becoming a problem I mean he looks pretty good other than those striations on him not quite like wood and then I went with another figure after I got the temperature correct obviously Groot and it even gets the fine detail of the fingers as you guys could see it's one of my test prints to see how a filament does and he came out actually quite well and then I printed and stained this piece right here just to show you that you can stain this stuff and it did do a weird thing here which was fine it came out pretty nice. Still quite, not quite like wood, but it does look good. So then I thought it would be cool to do a wood-like object. A little crate coaster. Show you what that looks like. It looks a little like wood. I mean, it has the, the, the features of wood. Then I went with an even longer print, and I'll put in the description how long it took to print this, which all these files can be found in the description down below, except for this one because it wasn't done correctly. And I played around with this, and I actually stained it because it, it did come out really good, and it does kind of look like wood, and then I didn't stain this piece just to try to give it a little uh, variation in color. I, I wish I had another stain. I would have done that, and I probably should have stained the eyes too. Too, but I was just testing to see if I could get away with getting some of the stain in there and seeing what this would look like. So I, I think this came out pretty cool. And the reason why I'm not including the file is it's it's a little corrupted in here and it leaves a huge gap and that's why I'm not leaving the file for you guys because it's not printing correctly. And, and you can see all the mess ups in his chin there and that has nothing to do with the way I printed it. That actually has to do with this was a very thin piece and there was no backing behind it and there's no way it actually showed it as a whole actually in the model but since we're zoomed in like this let me show you what the actual stain looks like and I, th I think it came out really good on this and what I did differently than I did on the other piece put all the stain on there brushed it on and let it sit for 20 minutes I wiped off all the stain and I did mess up a little bit over here as you can see it, it, I, put, I taped off his face to do this after letting it sit for 20 minutes it really absorbed into the plastic like wood it worked really well I guess the the pieces that our wood took the stain very well and like I said it took a little time to absorb in and then I just wiped it clean and and we get this Iron Man like figure that almost looks like wood and I think this was one of the greatest examples that I had and then I took it a step further and I wanted to do a collapsible sword 
Unfortunately, I couldn't get that right, and I'm actually working on it. You probably hear my printer on the background. I'm actually working on this again right now. The collapsible sword part of it, well, it didn't really make it, but it printed really nice, and it shows you a big piece, a katana handle, So, and it came out really good. And I will leave a description for this down below, and if I figure out the correct printing parameters for the sword part of this, I will either put it in the description or I'll put it down below here. So I'm, I'm going to be experimenting with that. It came out pretty good. Doesn't really look like wood, but there is one that, that I think came out really good that does look like wood. And this is a hanging owl. And I thought that was really interesting. This actually almost looks carved, and it has to do with the way it was designed. And again, I'll leave this in the description down below, but it actually has a hole notched out for a screw and you can hang it and this I think came out awesome and I came out awesome in this material I, whoever modeled this and I forget who modeled it but they did an amazing job and they did really great work and it almost looks like carved wood I feel I'm sure if I stain this it would look really nice but I like it the way it is and I didn't really want to mess with it let me know what you guys think down below if that looks like wood to you because it does to me then I'm experimenting with this I have wood burrowing bees and I found this file online and I'm wondering wondering if there's enough sawdust, if you will, and it has a screw in spot there and it has several holes and then a hanging piece. And then you can print the top of this. I didn't because I wanted to see if it was really going to work and really attract the wood burrowing bees, but it's supposed to get the wood burrowing bees to go up in there and then fall in into a bottle that screws into the bottom. And it's not really designed, the threads aren't really designed for, I think it's more for a different type of bottle. I, I tried to look in the description, but they didn't really say what. And I have had this hanging for several days, and I just put it in like that where it's almost going to break it. But I wanted to see if it was going to catch any wood burrowing bees, and so far it hasn't. We'll see. So yeah, that's everything I printed with the wood-like filament, and some of the things look like real wood, and some of them I think they could be better, but it was fun to mess around with. So that was a quick look at what you could print with this. Folding sword, I'm still lost on that one. I'm trying to figure out why I can't get it to work. The coolest one has to be this owl. It really does represent wood. It's a really nice piece and I think it took me, and I'll put it right down here, I think it took me like 13 hours to print this. And all the files, like I said earlier, will be listed down below so you can go ahead and download those. I would definitely pick this up again. I think it was a great filament. Just as a PLA, it was great. The stuff that I stained, I was really impressed with the stain. I think it gives it more of a wood look and I really like the way this Iron Man came out. I wish his neck came out really good but and I wish I would have did a little bit more detail I might go back and try and see if I can try and work that out as far as sanding this stuff it does sand kind of like wood but it's like you would expect it's like a wood wood a plastic you can't rub too much otherwise you'll build up too much heat and you'll have problems but it does have capabilities of wood it's not quite wood some things didn't look like wood and some things if you stain them look very much like wood but all in all I thought it was a really cool experiment and I really enjoyed printing with this stuff I mean obviously halfway through the roll already. I really got carried away with it. As far as the wood burrowing bee trap, it still didn't catch anything yet, but I have another one that hasn't catched anything yet either that's actually made of wood. I don't know if it would go for the wood burrowing bees or not. I still haven't seen. It's been up for about two weeks. So we'll see. So leave a comment down below what you would 3D print in wood. I'm just curious to see what other people would print. These were just some of the ideas I came up with. And if you've used this filament before, you know, tell me your experience. Tell me what worked for you, what didn't work for you, and I'm curious. And also leave a comment if you're liking these filament videos. I've been kind of doing these here and there, and if you want to see my other videos, put them up above here. I, I did one in ABS to see if an Ender 3 could do ABS, and then I also did one that was rubber, which was really interesting. It was really a different type of material and I've been like playing with a lot of different materials and I'm curious to see what some of you guys experience if, if there's a material maybe I don't know that you'd like to try or you've been looking at and you'd like me to try please leave a comment down below that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and if you enjoyed this video ring that bell so you can get notified when I make another video and remember you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys! Say what? And I have hang have and I have had this hanging for several days, and I just put it in like that where it's almost gonna I know what you're thinking, crazy wills, tech shows over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button, and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.